and then change it basically into asynchronous. Right. <laughs> if you get too complicated, you can lose time yeah. very easily. Way good. I call those um, movements that I've just shown you false transitions. There you go. There you're into it. You're into it. So could you explain something yeah. about the, the 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 swinging with the time? Because you you said that you made most of yeah. these yourself, right? The tracks. Yes. And they're in a certain beat. Yeah, yeah. No, well, let's, well, let's go through it. Quickly. I'll just put, put that out of the way. So uh, I'll grab these ones and let's just um, we'll just put it. So this is fifty-five beats a minute. So it's, it's slower still than the last track. Mm -hmm. But what this gives you the opportunity to do is to actually complete the movement. So what I mean by that is that the clubs as they fall, so three, four, so it's one, two, and I can drop the clubs really nice and low at the back without touching two, my back. Three, four, one, two, one, two. So now let's speed it up. So um, we'll go to um, 56 beats a minute, and you'll, you'll see that you'll, you'll hear the difference. I mean, it's a different track, so that it's a little bit quicker. So I'm actually going to have to swing, obviously, swing quicker. Mm. Three, four. So it's one, two, three, one, two, one. So now, um, quicker still. Mm. Yeah, that one was more difficult to follow for me. I thought this one. The the other one is yeah yeah. So I mean, I may, maybe I'll jump. I'll go to sort of fifty eight beats a minute. We'll skip the fifty seven. Just um, yeah. So you can. Thing, then I want to be able to change directions. One, two, one, and then change again. Keeping them maintaining the speed of the, the swing, and then change back to outward again. So that's 58 bits a minute. Mm. And then we'll jump to 60. Synchronous. Right. Adding a third circle. Changing again to asynchronous parallel. Third circle is together. Right. Inward. And that can be obviously third circle there. And then parallels to the left to the left and then back to outward again mm. and that's 
basically these beads um, I will use for the mace also and for, Indian, for uh, meals, same speeds. I mean those speeds work for everything, so I mean, if, we, if we switch over with this one to the mace, or gada as they say, So that's, yeah, so I mean, you should give it a try. I will. This all comes from the Zulkan, as you know. I mean, this. I mean, but I found it very difficult to follow because I couldn't understand what they were saying in Farsi. Because I recorded heaps of tracks over there, yeah. and I can't do it. Nice long pull down with the front. So that's the sort of thing that I will do. Um, Ten minutes worth. Nice. 
Yeah, yeah. try the clubs, of course, of course. Uh, trying to throw those there. Uh, I'll yeah, just be careful not to knock them because they're actually somebody's there going to send them out. Maybe not a good idea. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all those there. Yeah, it's best to use. Oh, you can use those. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Complicated, you can lose time yeah. very easily, very easily. So now, just as a contrast, um, let me change the, the speed for you. Yeah. So try um, just a second to, uh, down to there. Let's just dro drop it down to fifty-six. No, no sorry, 50, oh, 57 beats a minute. There you go. Slower. So when you want to, you know, make slow down everything, but make sure that you're doing a complete rotation of your shoulders and everything. Just do heart shapes to start with. Just to start with those. 57 beats a minute. No, drop the cuff, drop the cuff. Yeah. This type of beat offers you more variation on what you can do circle-wise. You can put, build more variation into the circles that you swing. That's it, very deliberate movements. teaching because mm. it gets people mentally into it. Just parallels or yeah, just start with something really simple, always start with something simple. Just get the beat.
the watch the tempo, watch the tempo. <laughs> so now maybe do um, uh, hip reels on one hand and heart shapes on the other. That's good. It would be also interesting because um, I used to be a drummer. And, Did uh, you really? Yeah. And, oh, well, uh, you know all about it then. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was a yeah. self taught drummer, so yeah. <laughs> tempo was not completely my thing, but it would be interesting to like do like a solo. So you do like. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, the, the parallels, if you let me have the clubs a second, I mean, the parallels um, roles are fantastic for this. I'll just pop those back if you find like these, these at the moment. Okay, so, parallel roles. Right. Yeah, but now you're still in tempo. What I mean is that you speed up the tempo and then go back to the tempo. Yes. Yeah, I, I do know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I know exactly what you mean with this. Because I, you can count it as in one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, you'd have to really choreograph the music and the movements that you're yeah. going to do. That's well, um, if the beat is very stable, it's, yeah, it should be easy to do. Yeah, no, true, true. Yeah, this, the, the, this is the, the, the whole thing about this. Um, these drum tracks is that the beat is stable. So that means that I, you know, I can practice um, and maintain the speed that I want to maintain, yeah. and then um, put complexity into the swinging. Right. So, for instance, when I train something new, like when you came in this morning, I was working on 55 beats a minute with those parallel transitions that I was trying to do mm. to asynchronous and back again and then my next step will be to probably go to maybe 57 beats a minute then 59 interesting yeah and that's how I build up my speeds and my my um, like memory right you know start off slowly and, and, and do it that way mm. that was so cool I um I, I've done it before with when I when I did flows with the mace that I kind of used um, used the music as a way to guide myself and then create flows as in solos uh, within that music. Um, but it's very interesting to actually learn new movements in that similar way. I mean, to me, to me, the, the, it's uh, it's the only way. I mean, I've tried. There's some piano tracks that are great. For instance, waltzes in the, in, in the old days. Mm. Um, people used to, for instance, they, everybody would go to church on Sunday, you know, in sort of like very religious times. And then after church, it would be a social gathering. Mm. And normally the children would start club swinging. So somebody would be down at the piano playing a waltz, because mm. the waltz is 4 4 time, which is right. what this is. And they'd swing clubs to this, and somebody would lead them, and then the women would do it, and then the men would do it. It was a social thing, huge. And sort of, you know, if you think about it, from about 1860 to 1930, this was massive. Done in America and in Europe. I mean, the right. Czechoslovakia, Germany, don't know about Holland, but I mean, I know that Germany was pretty big yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. The UK were, were was, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure there were clubs in. I mean, I think they were all, all over the Europe, quite frankly. Right, right. I must, I must have had an ancestor that did this. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's right, that's right. So. Uh, so I think um, you know from a sort of from that point of view, it's it's just a great way, and it, it, you know keeping the 
what I've found really interesting is if for a 10 minute track, doesn't matter whether it's clubs, meals or mates, you get fatigue setting in, you know, especially if you're going slightly faster or you're trying to do something very difficult. Sure. Fatigue starts to gain and then you're starting to battle fatigue, keeping with the beat. And I think that makes you a better swinger, but you're better at swinging because you're keeping that tempo up. Sure. You're not slowing down because, you know, sometimes in some cases people will slow down mm -hmm. for whatever reason um, because they're trying something harder so the, the, the clubs will slow down. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to think in reverse. I mean, you, and especially with the um, the front circle and the back circle. Mm. So when it's asynchronous, for example, the back circle is actually quite slow. I'm slowing my arm down yeah. here, and then basically transitioning there. And you should be able to transition on either side, and then right. come back on either on one side. Right and then transition on this side right. and can come back on this side. So you're completely synchronized. Right. So you know, if you can do it on the left, you should always be able to do it on the right, whatever it is, whatever movement you're doing. So, I mean, I, I always sort of, and I get really anal about it. I mean, I have to do it that way because mm -hmm. that's the way that I, I, if I'm proficient in one way, it's not good enough. It has to be in both directions. Mm -hmm. So it's like a yin and yang balance. I don't know, is this, that is maybe just me, but I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's the way that I think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I want to be able to do it. I do a circle here, then I want to be able to do one here. Sure. And um, whether it's synchronous or asynchronous. Yeah, yeah, that's, everything should be possible. Yeah. That's, I yeah. think that's uh, the, the lovely thing about this, is that that, that spirit of creativity that, that's there, that you can kind of figure out, wait a second, if you can do this one, then I might also right. to do it this And way. then, so, so, so basically the, um, and I use a, um, a standard formula, which I worked out very, very early on, um, and which started in outward swings here. Mm. Stopping this arm, bringing this one over to here. Parallels to the right. Then you stop your right arm, bring this one around to here, inward. Interesting. Stop your left yeah. arm, left. Yeah. Stop your right arm, Outward. Right. Now that progresses then to outward, half an Indian cross. Right. Okay. Yeah. Another full Indian cross. Reverse wrist circle. And then reverse wrist circle on this side. And we're done. Back to the way we started. And then, of course, you've got to do it if you've done it. Turning to the right, you have mm. to be able to turn it to the left. Of course, <laughs> so, of course. And that, that that in itself presents so much, you know, so much material oh, to work with. It's, it's just fantastic. This is exactly what I did in the beginning course, the, the stopping. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, because at first I thought maybe the Indian cross to switch between parallel and crossing. No, but no. Uh, it's too too quick. No, so I mean, you basically with the, with this um, the, with the stopping concepts. I mean this. This stop here translates to half an Indian cross in the f in mm. the, the non-stop version. So right. you've got the stop-start version, non-stop version of that mm. sequence, right. and then I mean once once you have that sequence, I mean, so that's the basic like riding a bike sequence. Mm. So then, for instance, you can take the sequence into asynchronous, and then we're going to asynchronous um, right. heart shapes. Indian cross there, and now here comes the wrist circle there. Right. What, wasn't the, that the, the, the thing you were doing just, wasn't that asynchronous parallel heart shapes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's much harder. Yeah. People confuse that yeah, with, with the, this. The, yes. And pe many people start, to, uh, start it properly, but they lose, they lose the beat. And they go from a two count to, uh, they go to a two count to a four count, right. not even realizing that they're doing it. Very difficult to understand these, the and that's the yeah. No, the, this is sort of like up here that's sort of understanding yeah. wise. Yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. No, but it's good that you picked up on it because you're aware of the of it. So I mean, asynchronous can be done in all formats basically. Yeah. Crossing and I mean, and what's really into? I mean, those I call those um, movements that I've just shown you forced transitions, and that's Force? a forced. A you're force. forcing the clubs to change direction. Right. Now you've got body transitions. And body transitions are um, where you turn the body. Mm -hmm. 
pivots. So, yes, so I mean, you step through it. So, I mean, basically, here I can step through and yeah. I'm inward. Yeah. And now to come back out of here, the clubs have to come over the top yep. and back here. And in this way, you can also move to sagittal. Because yes, you can, move, you can move to sagittal and so on. Um, and then, um, as far as asynchronous, is great fun because here you can, you can do a 180 degree turn here that way. And obviously you can come mm. back the same way and continue all the way around on a 360. Of course, of course. So, and then basically, now hang on, I haven't done this for a while. <laughs> so it's there. It's coming. There. Yeah, it's coming. So and basically, so now I'm swinging down to the, um, to the left, down to the right. Mm. And a 180 degree body turn. I know it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the knowledge, Paul. It's awesome. It's awesome. Always dazzled by the seeming complexity of light club swinging, Light Clubs 101 will bring an end to that. In Light Clubs 101, you will learn the absolute fundamentals of light club swinging, also known as Indian clubs. You will learn how to distinguish between crossing and parallel swinging directions. Light Clubs 101 will go further than just teaching you the swings. It will also teach you how to fluidly transition between exercises and also swinging directions. I believe this course is perfect to understand and master the absolute fundamentals of Light Club Swinging and will open up the world of Light Clubs to you. Will I see you on the other side? Join now on DutchFlowAcademy.com Thank you for your attention, it's greatly appreciated. If you like the content, please consider to share, like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see similar videos, you can see them over here. If you're interested in learning more from me as a coach, I've got online courses on dodgeflowacademy.com. Keep flowing, Ram Ram.